I just wanted to show you my kayak setup, my Garmin Striker 4 DV Fish Finder install. Uh, as you can see, I've got it mounted up there in the front of my kayak, which is an Old Town Vapor 10 Angler. Uh, it's a sit-in model, which is uh, not too many people run sit-ins. Most people are using sit-on tops. But this fish finder has been really great. Uh, it was nice to install. And so far, I've really enjoyed having it. Uh, as you can see, the setup I've got, I made a custom little bracket out of... Uh, galvanized strapping that goes underneath the dashboard there and mounts this at a different angle. Uh, and then I have those three switches there. Those are light switches. I have a full yak lights rig with a spotlight, navigation lights, and interior work lights. Um, I also have that wire form rod holder up there. <clears throat> so far this has been a really convenient setup for me. Uh, one thing I really like about mounting it this way is that I didn't lose my cup holder. I've seen a lot of guys mount it in their cup holder and I just didn't want to lose mine. I still use it. So this worked out really well. And then I'll go back here and show you my transducer setup. I wanted to do a in-hole mount, uh, but I didn't like losing the uh, some of the features like water temperature. And so what I did was came up with this setup again using galvanized strapping. Uh, and this is actually a bicycle peg. I found that I had that uh, fits down in the rod holder just perfectly and so I wrapped the strapping with foam insulation and then there's the transducer which has a stainless mount and I use stainless bolts and then I just wrapped the whole thing in duct tape before I put the foam on it keeps it all sealed up pretty well uh, when I need to I can take this thing out let me just pop this out That way I can just tuck it right in there for transportation or if I'm going to run aground real fast, you know, get in shallow water or something like that. I don't want the transducer to get hit. I just pop it in there. No big deal. When I'm ready, pop it out, drop it in. It's ready to go. And as you can see, it's very low profile. Uh, it even works with my taco clip that I've got there. still holds my paddle on, no problem. And the transducer is just below the water surface, so uh, works out really well. If you're in the market for the uh, Garmin Striker or wondering about it, you should go ahead and pull the trigger on it. It's a great little fish finder. Been re very happy with mine so far. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on, show you that. Sorry if it's a little shaky, I'm just trying to do this on my iPad. If I can get it to focus for you. Alright, and there's the menu that you get. Um, I like to run mine with the traditional and down view. You see, that's what it looks like. Of course, we're not in the water, so we won't see anything right now. But So far, that's worked really well for me. And uh, I like this fish finder a lot. If you're into ice fishing, it's got the flasher mode. Uh, you can set up the uh, screen to split it different ways, horizontally or vertically. Uh, use the waypoint map and the, uh, the sonar if you want. It's just been really great. And we've got this thing wired directly into my Yaklite's LiPo battery as well. That way there's no switch for it. There's no risk of turning it off when you don't want to. Uh, so this has been a really good setup for me. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.